Hello everyone and welcome to our first webinar from the IBM Digital Nation Africa webinar series. I'm going to be talking about the design thinking methodology and we'll discuss how and where can we use it. I'll do this by giving you an end-to-end -end example so you have a clear idea of how this methodology is being applied. Please feel free to send me all your questions or feedback on my email address provided at the end of this presentation. I'm going to introduce myself, introduce you to the IBM Digital Nation platform, and we're going to start our design thinking session. My name is Judel Hassan, and I work as a content developer for the IBM Digital Nation Africa program. And one of my focus areas is design thinking. A year ago, I attended a design thinking workshop, which helped me see its value, and since then, I was so eager to learn more about this topic. I started taking courses online and I achieved the co-creator badge, which allowed me to lead design thinking workshops and give training sessions to students, startups, and developers. I also developed the design thinking for beginners course on the IBM Digital Nation Africa platform as part of the innovator journey. I would like to take the first few minutes to introduce you to the IBM Digital Nation Africa platform, show you how to navigate through it, and then we will begin our design thinking session. The IBM Digital Nation Africa platform has four major parts, which are learn, earn badges, innovate, and find jobs. Learn is the platform offering a wide range of courses and tools to help you learn about the latest emerging technologies, trends, and explore new opportunities in the real world. Earn badges are verified proof of your achievements recognized, respected, and valued in the IT industry and can be included in your CV and shared on your social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. In the Innovate, here you can seek inspiration for different ideas, learn about the design thinking process, and start learning and building solutions on IBM Cloud Life account. And in Define Job, you can leverage the Job Advisor tool powered by IBM Watson that can help you find jobs related or relevant to your skills. The tool also performs a skill gap analysis and suggests available courses on the platform that you can add to your learning journey. Now let me show you how can you navigate the IBM Digital Nation Africa platform and let me get you familiar with using it. As you can see, this is the home page and you can register for free from this button. Also, you can click on join for free. You can watch the overview video about the platform by clicking here. And if you're signed in, this is the page you will be seeing. So as I discussed the four major keys that we are having in our platform, we have the three journeys that we're offering, Explorer, Innovator, and New Color. In Explorer, you will be introduced to emerging technologies and how it's being applied in various industries. The courses are 30 minutes long, and in the end, there is a quiz. Open successfully passing the quiz with a score of 80% or more, you will be able to get the IBM Digital Badge. In Innovator, you can seek inspiration for ideas and gain practical experience on emerging technologies with hands-on exercises using the IBM Cloud Life platform services. And in New Caller, you can access additional learning on emerging technologies aligned with the latest job role. Use the Job Advisor tool to fill in your profile and find jobs that best match your skills. Now, to access Design Thinking for Beginners course, you can see it and find it in the Innovator section. You click uh, on Start Learning.
and you go to design you click on design thinking for beginners you click on wrap up next step and then you you will be able to find the enterprise design thinking practitioner course and you will be able to earn your practitioner badge from here the total of the two courses the design thinking for beginners and enterprise design thinking will take you around 4 hours and you will be able to earn the practitioner badge let's go back to our presentation and let's get started with design thinking let's talk about design thinking who knows about design thinking what can you understand from the word itself design thinking is a methodology that focuses on the end user's needs it could be technical or non-technical and can be applied in so many ways let me give you an example of how design thinking was applied in real life and helped solve a unique business challenge. In this picture, you can see the MRI machine. MRI machines are used to provide an analysis of how body organs are functioning. A lot of patients and mostly kids are afraid of the MRI machine as it's very loud and it's tight and dark. And so, as you can imagine, it's very difficult for kids. The hospital therefore decided on running a design thinking workshop to look for a solution that will make their end users, in this case the kids, more comfortable going through an MRI. And at the same time, increases revenue and be ahead of competition. So, as you can see, this, is, this was the solution that they came up with painted the walls colorful with cart cartoons and animations that made kids feel more comfortable going into the room and doing an MRI. So to get started with what is actually design thinking, design thinking is a human-centered approach to innovation. And it's a methodology that companies use to solve the challenges based on the customer's needs and wants. So instead of coming up with a product or a service and try to sell it to people, companies try to understand what customers really need and create product or a service based on that. So design thinking has three major actions in order to come up with the right solution and know the right business challenge, you have to go three major actions, which are observe reflect and make what does observe reflect and make mean observe is immersing yourself in the real world to get to know your users uncover the needs and learn the landscape and test ideas in other words you are observing the market and identify the business challenge second action is reflect reflect is coming together and forming a point of view to find the common ground, align the team, uncover insights, and plan ahead. In other words, you are reflecting on the challenge and you will try to understand what can be done to overcome it. The third action is make. In the make, we give, we give the opportunity to explore possibilities, communicate ideas, and drive real outcomes. In other words, we can make and implement the solution to make it available for our users. So these are the three basic actions we should take in a design thinking, which observe, reflect, and make. Now, I'm gonna give you an example and show you what are the, the the three major steps and how can we relate these steps to observe, reflect, and make. It. 
The first step we're gonna take in order to make a successful design thinking workshop, we identify the business challenge. We're going to see what is the business challenge. The second step is we identify our persona and follow the design thinking technique. So we'll understand our target audience, who are they, and then go through the design thinking technique. In the third step, we create the solution. Create the MVP of the solution. What does that mean? MVP is a minimal viable product. And in this step, we will come up with a real outcome, but only what is necessary for our end users. I'll explain all of that further in the next few slides. So let's start with our business challenge for today. What is our business challenge and how can we overcome this challenge with focusing on our end users needs and wants? And this business challenge we have today is a football stadium that has only 50% occupancy, uh, seat occupancy. In other words, 50% of the tickets are sold. However, there are still 50% of the tickets that are available. The owner wants to increase this by 75% of seat occupancy. That means he wants to sell more tickets. Selling more tickets, that means getting more revenue and getting more profit to the business. How can we do that? is on focusing how can we make our customers or end users happy and willing to come and watch the games in the stadium. So this the step this is the step that is reflecting on the first action we should follow in the design thinking workshop, which is the observation. We are observing the market and we're knowing the landscape and we're getting to know what is our business challenge. Now, moving to the next step, which is identifying our personas and going through the design thinking techniques. We have this persona, but let's keep in our mind that there would be a lot of personas and we would be um, targeting a lot of people that they have different personalities and they have different reasons that they are not coming to watch the game. So in our persona for today, we picked Samir. Samir is single. He's an IT engineer. He's a football fan. He is occasional ticket purchaser. That means he goes once or twice a year to watch the game. And all of his close friends are season ticket purchasers. That means they are sitting in a different seating area, which is the VIP area. In order to get to know to our persona, we try to know facts about this persona, such as demographics, behaviors, attitudes, needs, challenges, goals, and motivations. And then we start elaborating on how can we help this persona. So in our event, there is an upcoming match and Samir wants to go and watch the game with his friends. So let's see how design thinking will help Samir enjoy his experience while we can help the owner of the stadium get more people to come and watch the game. Firstly, we have to know our audience and then we start applying the design thinking techniques in order to get to know more about this persona and try to figure out what are the pain points in order to come up with the right solution for this person. The second technique or the second phase that we are going to be taking is the empathy map. Empathy map is we dive deeper into knowing this persona. What does he say? What does he think? And what does he feel? And what does he do during such an occasion? So Samir says that he wants to watch the game, but with his friends. And what he does is looks for a way to be able to sit next to his friends 
as they will be sitting in a different area. He's feeling frustrated and worried that he will not be able to sit next to his friends. And Samir is thinking whether he should go or not. So the MPC map will be covering four quadrants, which are the thinking, saying, and doing, and feeling. In order to get to know more about this persona, and we try to come up with the right solution for this person. Now, after we know about this persona and how does this persona react to things, we go into the as is scenario. In the as is scenario, we pick, we pick the day to help Samir, which is the day before of the game, and see what issues he is facing and how is he dealing with them in order to find the exact pain points and the opportunities to help him. So Samir starts off with planning his day to attend the game. And while doing this, he's thinking whether to go with his close friends or work colleagues. And he's feeling excited. Next, he starts searching for websites to book a seat in a different area so that he can sit next to his friends. He's now feeling nervous and uncomfortable. In the last step, he has to take a decision whether he will go to the game or not. Is that if he finds a way to sit with his friends, he will purchase the tickets, and if not, he won't go to the game. From the feeling of each step Samir takes, we will be able to know his pain points and needs. So we try to come up with the ideas on how to solve these challenges. The need statement here is Samir wants to sit in the season ticket holder area next to his friends. After we come up with the name statement, we move to the ideation phase. In the ideation phase, we try to come up with an idea in order to solve the our our persona's needs or wants. So we know what Samir needs. He needs to sit next to his friends. And from there, we take it to the next phase, which is ideation. Ideation, that means we come up with ideas in order to solve such a challenge. So we do this through two parts, the diverge and the converge. In the diverge, we, we align a team, which means like um, a group of people and each one of them comes up with an idea individually. It could be anything. So these are the four ideas that this session we came up with, which are crystal balls to see the available seats, message to book seats, bracelets that allows you to go to areas for specific colors, paying extra money to sit next to your friends. In the converge part, we try to elaborate on our ideas as a team. So each one of the team member who came up with an idea individually would share it with the team and would explain it to the team. Ideas could be anything. It could be crazy and wild. And you might be surprised that one of these ideas might work out. So here, after we finish the diverge and the converge part, we put the ideas on the proterization grid, which you can see in this slide, the importance and the feasibility. The idea should be important to the end user, and the feasibility should be uh, in the business point of view, as it's important for the user, and it's feasible for the business to implement this idea. So the best the the most important idea was paying extra money to sit next to to friends and it's the most feasible idea as well because it's going to be easier for the business to implement this idea other than the other ideas so we have other steps that were not covered due the time of this presentation but you can check them out on the design thinking for beginners course in IBM Digital Nation Africa, as after the ideation, we come up with the to be scenario and the storyboard. So please check them out for further details.
and um, if you have any questions or feedback, please share them with me. Now, after we come up with the idea, and before we come up with the solution, we try to uh, create an MVP of this solution. So, let's talk about the extensions of design thinking, which are held playback sponsor users. Now, after we finished the ideation and we did other um, phases, which such as storyboard and the to be scenario, we state the health. What does a health mean? Health statement has three factors, the who, what, and the wow factors. So in the health statement, we should cover who are we targeting, what are we doing for this persona, and what's so, um, what's so special about this solution. So what is the wow factor? So regarding our example, it's going to be Samir sits with his friends in the season ticket holder area. This is the health statement. So we come up with the health statement and we see what is the most important thing for our user in order to come up with the solution. Now, let's move to the solution that we came up with for Samir and let me explain it to you. This is the app that we came up, uh, we came up with uh, for Samir. So as you can see in the first page, he will be able to fill his profile with his name, gender, and um, and what ticket he is holding, if he's occasional or seasonal. And then he will be able to click on any of these features. Buy your ticket, book your seat, order your snacks. Now, because we know the need of Samir and we know he cares the most about booking his seat, so in order to come up with the MVP, we focus on this feature for now. Book your seat. So let's say Samir is using this app. He clicks on book your seat and then he connects his friends through Facebook. We go to the second page that is showing in the middle. He can connect, click on the plus sign to add his friends and then he clicks on book your seat. It will dive him to the third page as you can see here on the right side. He will be able to pick um, from the, these two options, occasion ticket holder area and season ticket holder area, which he will be paying extra money in order to book in that area, which is fine with Samir. He clicks on suggest seats to friends, and then he will be able to choose a few seats, and then it's going to be sent to his friends on their uh, box. So after they see it and they check the seat, he, they can get back to Samir and tell him their opinion. And in this uh, scenario, it might take some time as it's going to be messaging and it will not be able to notify uh, Samir at the same time. So this was the first, the initial solution. Now, to go back to our extensions, to the design thinking, we do the playback and then the sponsor users. What is the playback? A playback is actually when we come up with a solution and we pitch it to our sponsor users. What are our sponsor users? They are real testers that will allow us to improve our solution before we give it to our persona. So they will tell us their feedback and they will tell us how can we improve it in order to serve what our persona needs or wants. So what I just did was a playback. So I explained the app and I explained how our potential end user will be using this app to our sponsor users. So after we did the playback about this solution to so our sponsor users. Our sponsor users gave us a feedback of instead of 
suggesting seats and send it to, to, to Samir's friends. And then we wait for them to get back to us. And this whole time, um, back and forth, we can just make it as a live chat. So it would be easier for Samir and it will uh, be less in time for, for taking a, such a decision. So this was the end of the application, which when Samir clicks on suggest seat, it will allow him to choose the seat and directly send, the, send it as a chat to his friends. So as you can see here, Samir is saying, hello friends, what do you think about these seats? And Ahmed is typing right away. So this application is a minimal viable product. It helps the business to save money and cost and as well to serve Samir's needs and wants. And design thinking is always focusing on the end user's needs and wants and it's always a win-win situation because um, design thinking will allow the two parties to have what they need. So in our case here, the stadium, the owner of the stadium will get the chance to satisfy his persona, which is Samir, that he will allow him to buy a ticket, come to watch the game in the stadium, as well as he gets more revenue and he sells more tickets. So he's getting more revenue, he's getting more profit, and he's making Samir happy by this experience for allowing him to sit next to his friend. So to wrap this up, design thinking is a very important process that will help us finding the right business challenge in order to write to in order to find the right solution. And it's always focusing on our end user and it focuses on the needs and wants of this user. That's it for our design thinking uh, session. Please feel free to send me your questions and feedback on my email address, and I will be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Through this link, you will be able to get to know our uh, design thinking for beginners course and you will be able to catch up on all the detailed steps. Also, you'll be able to see our design thinking stories. To access more courses on the different emerging technologies, please click on this link, which is www.digitalnationafrica.com, and you will earn more badges. You will be able to build your uh, own solutions uh, and you will be able to uh, reach out to our advocates through this link. And please join our Facebook group through this link. This is my email address. And please feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you enjoyed this session with us. And have a great day.